Nanking, capital of China, nervously awaits the communist army encamped only 10 miles outside the city. Only Chiang Kai-shek's successor, acting president Lai Chung-yen, and Chu Chang-wei, his chief advisor, remain in the city to represent the government. Their mission is to seek peace with the communists, acknowledged victors in the 22-year-old civil war. On the great Yangtze River, which links Nanking with Shanghai, gunboats ferry remnants of the nationalist army to defend the capital in case peace talks fail. In the beleaguered city itself, the feeling runs high in favor of unconditional surrender. Troops add to the unbelievable congestion as streets are feverish with people in flight. With the refugee problem now completely out of hand, the Reds are making the most of their victor spoils and are letting the armistice talks hang fire. Meanwhile, all China anxiously waits for peace. Thank <laughs> you.